we say. Yeah. We don't have an intro. We don't have an intro. We will not have an intro. That's fine. Um, it's two dudes talking about tunes. You should put the headphones on. Yeah, because I should. The sound. Put the cans on. Put the cans on. So um, Mark Marin always says on WTF to yeah. people, and he sounds cool. And then you can hear yourself too. Oh, they don't like it. Self adjust. They um, adjust when they're you, on your head. Can you, You're your gonna mic- mess up my hair, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> you going somewhere? Yeah, I got a football game. Oh yeah. Um, are you? Do cold. you need more headphone? Do I need more headphone? Uh, yes, I do. You are. Sorry. I'm a typical singer. More me. More me. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's more of it's like more everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I totally get that. We used to joke about that when I was singing vocal jazz because you really need to hear yourself because you got to tune the chords up and everything and like. I get it. More me, more me, me. Well, trust me, I know. <laughs> um, when we're uh, the last time that we played shows. Um, in the before times. In the before times. Really, <laughs> That's my favorite way to it say really, it. It really is. <laughs> uh, I'll be adjusting these. As, I'm gonna try as I to go. play with my pen also. Oh, it's perfectly fine. Um, so in the before times, <laughs> as you as you yeah. so mentioned them, um, we were we we played a show, and uh, this is because you're a famous rock. Because I'm a famous. If this rock is gonna star. go in the pod. If this is gonna be on the this thing, this probably will be. I mean, should. depending on exactly like. What happens? I should put this up to time. Um, I don't know if we're going to cut out all the ums and stuff. I, I no. probably won't. Keep it real. Keep it real. Also, don't waste your time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the story is that um, the last time we played, so like right before Christmas. Mm-hmm. It was. It was like right before Christmas break. Um, so we played shows. We did sound check, and it sounded great. Um, now, it's always been customary that uh so drums in the center Mm -hmm. um guitars on left and right and then the bass would either be like flip-flop between my side and jay and jay's the other guitar player Mm -hmm. um but it's always been like on my side bass player has always been on my side and i don't really know why but Mm -hmm. it's always been maybe because jay's like i need more room i don't know why but he's always been like kind of over there yeah or on my side and our bass player chuck who will probably listen to this (laughs) just like cranks it and it's just like that's all i hear is bass like the like every every night of this four four nights i think it's four uh just bass constantly and i like i can't hear myself and i'm just like whatever if i suck i suck yeah because i can't hear myself but it sounded good at sound check and i'm like all i could hear is you and then one he he didn't he like the first night of tour it's like he messed up um yeah so I uh, will have a playlist um, on some service, either okay. Apple Music or Spotify or whatever. Let's do both because I don't have Apple Music, but I do have Spotify. Yeah, meaning like you could make the Spotify one and I'll make the okay. the, the Apple Music I'm one. I'm going to run the Instagram too. Is that cool? Perfectly Dibs. fine. <laughs> you, you can run that. I have to find – that'll be my fourth account – because <laughs> i have I, my I, personal one i have my teacher one and yeah. i i have access to the band one also let me see now so. that you've brought it up uh instagram um i have a total of access to one two three four five six. Oh snap you got six deep. but like two of them don't really exist sure like nothing happens there we should probably talk about who we are uh, yeah, yeah I mean, hi. You, we know you're a rock star now. i'm a rock star my name's bo barber <laughs> Um, I'll be half of this podcast, which is called Two Tunes. Two Tunes. So named by a former student of mine. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Allie, shout out to Allie. So, Bo Barber, Two Tunes. Brandon Barber, Two Tunes. Brandon Barber. Brandon Barber. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, that's good, yeah. We're brothers. Yeah, uh, Brandon Bittner, Two Tunes. Uh, okay, so Bittner and Barber. Yeah, that Two Tunes. Get. What was B squared was one of our things or something? Well, or B... It could be B cubed. No, but more. What's fours? Isn't it cubed? No. Cubed is three. Yeah, it's It's... To the fourth power. Yeah. Yeah. But no. Okay. So the the premise of this podcast, since this is episode one, mm-hmm. is that we both pick a song and like the day before we record it, um, we say, hey, this is the song we're doing. Um, and then one person will lead the conversation kind of sort of. About the song that they pick. About picked. the song that they yeah. pick. And then the Sorry, other one. Sorry, the tune. Play. I guess we should the like t- stay on brand. The tune. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The tune. Um, and, and we're both official and took notes. We did take notes. Um, 
I, I took a page and a half and it was like, listen, first listen. And then I wrote down uh-huh. stuff. And then I did research because <laughs> I looked him up. Nice. So I have information about his past, okay. which I already knew. Well, I didn't know about, but I, I've known the other band that he was in. Okay. Which we'll talk I kind of figured you might actually. Um, and, and I have it, not really, I mean, it's like two sentences. And then I did a second listen and it was like through, so first listen was through the phone, which is not cool, but whatever. Yeah, always use headphones. Um, I, I, I never, I never got to a headphone listen. Okay. And the second listen was through the computer, which was still like a lot better uh-huh. uh, quality. But I, I actually liked that process of uh-huh. listening through a phone, listening through uh, speakers, like good speakers. Yeah. Well, quote unquote, good sp- sure. speakers, better than a phone speakers. Uh, and then I was going to do headphones, but I just never got around it. To okay. It. I, to be fair, I also did not do headphones, but my first listen was on my good speakers in yeah. my, in my office. And then twice in the car. Also good speakers, but not specifically on the headphones. So, yeah, should probably be better about that. Did we say that we get three listens? I don't remember if we said that. Oh yeah, that. no, we get three listens. So you, you said we uh, the day before we say, hey, this is my tune, this is your tune, and then yeah, up to three listens. Yeah, so up to not doesn't have to be it could be one. I <laughs> almost I almost only got one, and luckily I had to drive over here, so I got two more. Um, you listened to it twice on the way over. Yeah, here. in between listening to, <laughs> in between listening to WAP. <laughs> Because okay. a friend... That'll be on the next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. So then a friend posted uh, on Facebook, like, I think this is in Rondo form, which I it's not. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, oh, it, form analysis on WAP. That's amazing. And, I, and then... Uh, so anyway, so I listened to it just for that purpose. And then, you know, you pull it up on Spotify and it's like, here's all these versions. So one of them was like from this podcast that was like, what if this was done by Kids Bop? And it was oh. like wet and splashy. It was like being in the summer and like having okay. your friends over for like a pool party. And then there okay. was the Richard Cheese version. Are you oh, familiar with Richard yeah, yeah. Cheese? Yeah, I know Richard Cheese. There was his version as well. That and then probably like will a, be a version at one point, at some point. A uh, Kids Bop? No, 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 the, the Richard Cheese. No, 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 it is. Oh, it That's what is. I'm saying. Like I okay. listened to that also. Okay, all right, all right, gotcha. <laughs> and then I went back and gave one more listen to your tune. Okay, so. gotcha. I'm eating sour gold bears. That's good. Eating gold is... Mouth noises on the podcast. That's what people want to hear. It's an ADMSR. ASMR. A- 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 ASMR. A- a- yeah, yeah. That'll be our AD- spinoff. A- ADSM. ADD ASMR. No, 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 like, no, a- <laughs> so what I was trying to say is like attack to case sustain release. ADSR. What? what is that? ADSR. Yeah, but what is that? Attack to K sustain release. Oh, uh, I got you. So okay. attack is like how f- it's yeah, a yeah, synthesizer yeah. type I terms. Or attack is how fast it goes to the top level uh-huh. decay is how long it takes to come down to like whatever the sustain level is uh-huh. sustain level is a volume that is whatever and then release once you release the key everyone has stopped listening to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you can always just go in this is our first and last episode of two tunes no well this might wait work. so hang on so we we sort of introduce ourselves we should we should go a little further this is the first episode at least like so we're both music teachers, both teach in the same school district. Yeah, different high schools. Different high schools. And completely different classes. Mostly. Although we teach, we both teach theory one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, then, uh, so I, teach, you go. I yeah. teach music theory and uh, all the music production classes, mm-hmm. which is, there's three of them. Yeah. Uh, so I teach four classes. And then Mr. Bittner. I teach music theory one, AP music theory. Uh, we have three jazz bands, which I direct. And then uh, this year I'm also teaching percussion ensemble. Really? Yeah. How's that working out? Uh, pretty well, actually. It's pretty fun. Cool. I so, mean, we're in the weird times. So, like, I have three kids one day and two kids another day and another girl at home. And, like, but I, it's it's working. I have one of your students. At, I also teach guitar on the side. Yeah, you teach one of my uh, kids. And I teach one of your students. And he, he I'm, like, just remembering, it's like, he said the before times as well. <laughs> so, the That's before funny. times is, is he'll, he will listen to this podcast. He has already way. asked me about this podcast <laughs> several times. It's like, when are you guys going to record? I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a good kid. Yeah, so we're both music teachers with varying backgrounds of different things. And yeah, so that's what we're yeah. at. Maybe we'll, I'm sure we'll talk more about ourselves as we um, go. So we'll I start ha- with your tune? Yeah, tune? we'll start okay. with my tune. So uh, how exactly, we haven't structured this exactly. Do you want to like all. play and then I'll pause or if you just like, hey, stop it. Um, I'm okay, at least for this tune on this time. If you want to pause at certain points and talk about a thing, or if you just want to like let it play, I don't have like oh at one minute twenty seconds. I need to talk. Okay, about so this. We'll, we will play it through and then we'll stop individually. Uh, like if if you say, "Hey, could you stop that? I want to mention something that just happened." That's fair. 
Okay, cool. Um, cause I have like times written down for your song okay. where I might be like, Hey, I want to stop it here. Yeah. Your I, tune is like more straightforward Oh, totally. than mine. So like I totally. didn't, I didn't feel the need to do that. I'm, You're I'm like, a, yeah, in the verse. And then I'm, and then I would be like, yeah, at like 53 seconds. <laughs> yeah, cause exactly. it's not really a verse at all. No, not at all. Um, I'm trying to clean up as I'm doing stuff. This is not prepared. <laughs> um, I'm going to move the computer closer to you so you could just, Oh, cool. Hit okay. space bar. So marker to silence. I'll listen back and edit some yeah, of this yeah, stuff yeah. out. I mean, I could just pause it. Nah, that's too professional. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of the podcast. Yeah. Dead air, dead air, dead air. As I'm just trying to move it within three feet. Of each other. That'll work. You'll just hear my squeaky chair when I reach over to pause it if I need to. Maybe. I mean, you could move it closer when it's your turn. Okay. Um, so what is your tune? Uh, so my tune is... I don't I don't know how to pronounce that word. Calais. Calais. Uh-huh. Calais to Denver. Dover. Dover. Calais to Dover by Bright Eyes. Yeah. Off their new record that just came out this year. Um, unlike yours, which is from 2009. Correct. Um, they're both both songs. Okay, so this song is alternative. It's by Bright Eyes. Um, I didn't really. I was into Bright Eyes in like maybe 2005. Uh-huh. They released a double album, not a double album, but like two albums right one after each other. Sure. And one was like very acoustic, folky, mm-hmm. which Bright Eyes is kind of a folk is is folky. Yeah, like the whole record label that they're they're on. Um, that, that Saddle, Saddle Creek. Creek, yeah, Saddle Creek Records. They're on Saddle Creek and um, Cursive. The maybe or no? I don't know any of the bands that are on there, but I yeah. know it's. More, it, it seems like it's a collective. Yes, I, where yeah. it's just like we're just a bunch of friends, and like we're gonna do this, and then sure. we're gonna do that, and it, and now I'm thinking of uh, Kasami Washington. Oh, uh, where, like, Kamasi, but yeah, Kamasi. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, thank you for correcting. That's me. That's okay. With like the new Young Lions and that whole. Like like that, that his his the one record. It's like we're just gonna do we're gonna book recording time, right. set everything up, and yep. then record a hundred million songs by like a different artist. Yeah, and then we're just gonna release them as right. And it was a way of collaborating together and and not wasting time and money. Right, right, right. yeah, it makes so sense. So it's like they recorded five different people's albums because it was just all the same people. Right, and then he himself puts out double and triple albums oh, and stuff, so, which I own because they're amazing. But They are. Yeah. They, yeah. It's, anyways, the, when we, we, I guess we He'll probably show up on this podcast. He point. could, but like, you'd have to pull something that I don't know. That's true. But, yeah, that's, I guess we should say that's sort of a, sort of another point of this is to try to, Influence, influence, and also inspire. Influence, inspire, and like this, this, so. This is a thing I do in my theory classes and my jazz classes every week. Is we do sp- specific listenings and critical listenings, mm-hmm. but in my theory classes especially, I try to find things that they have not heard before. Oh yeah. So for instance, my tune this week directly like that is this week's listening for my theory classes. <laughs> so you're stealing a little bit, but it's like, but that's part of the thing is like my playlist that I have set up for this podcast of like tunes that I would like to do is very similar to the playlist that I have of the tunes we're going mm-hmm. to listen to in theory. Because again, it's about exposing them yeah. to new stuff. And and so you and I are quote unquote, well versed in a variety of different types of music. Yeah. But like anybody else, we listen to more of, certain bands, certain groups, mm-hmm. certain whatevers, yeah. not necessarily sticking to any genre, but, but like everybody does, we, you get into the groove of like, I'm going to listen to this group for a while now or this album or this thing. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. So anyway, so the point is to try to expose each other to something we have not heard before. Yeah. Or even if it's somebody we have heard, like you said, if I'm going to play Kamasi Washington, I've got to find something that like, like a deep cut that Bo hasn't heard yet. Probably. Yes. You know, uh, th- I, so you kind of have like a list of stuff already. I I don't. Maybe eight tunes. And I the reason that I say that too. is like, so Apple Music gives you a, a like new music, which by the way, new music has not been new music for a while because like every week there's a new Taylor Swift, but it's like just off of folklore. Oh. Like every week there's, oh, okay. it's an, it's new music. It's the next track off of folklore. And I'm like, sure. I've listened to folklore. It's not new it's anymore. Same, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's been five weeks. Yeah. I've listened to these songs already. Yeah. And then there's another song. They always, like, the first and second song every week is, like, but I, I search through it. I listen through it. It's, like, maybe 30 songs. Okay. And some some things I haven't. And if I find something, I will grab it from there uh-huh. before I'm, like, oh, I searched and found this thing. 
All right, so yeah, we'll we'll go through this. I don't have anything. There's like weird. Okay, okay. So uh, <laughs> play. That's not. What That's it not is. it at all. <laughs> that was that was white cap. Anyways, I can edit that out. No, that's funnier that way. Okay, pause right away. Pause. Okay, so here's my thing with Bright Eyes. Yeah. I never got into Bright Eyes. Okay. Although I'm fairly certain I own a Bright Eyes album. Okay. That I actually bought in Omaha, which is like where he's from. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure where Saddle Creek is based mm-hmm, out mm-hmm, of. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he'll, I, he'll mention Omaha. He does mention song. Omaha. I know. I caught it on, I think, the second listen. Okay. Um, but... So I went to school in Iowa for a couple Iowa for a couple of years in Creston. Yeah, um, go Swick. And um, <laughs> we were about like an hour and a half, two hours from Omaha, and mm-hmm. we would do like day tours there. We'd call them runouts, like where just the whole day we're just singing at high schools and playing and whatever. Mm-hmm. And then we would like hang out in Omaha for lunch and whatever. And I remember going to like a couple of cool record stores and st- record stores CDs at that point. This is two thousand and six, yeah. and I'm fairly certain I know I have a a, a cursive album from mm-hmm. that time. I have some other like locally indie whatever bands from Omaha and I'm fairly certain I have a Bright Eyes album. Okay. But I'm also fairly certain that I've never really listened to them. Yeah. yeah. And part of it is Connor Oberst's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but all that being said, by the end of my first listen of this tune, I was into it and I was like quote unquote over it. Yeah. Like, yeah. He doesn't have a bad voice. It's just distinct. It's very distinct, and, very unique. Yes. Like you if if somebody sings like this, mm-hmm. it's like, oh you sound like like Connor Oberst. Yeah. You sound like him. Yeah. It's not like he sounds like you. It's like it's yeah. so distinct. It's yes. he's been doing this since he was twelve, I think. Okay. Like he started super young. Yeah. With what he's doing. So um since we paused it there and no one heard anything because what it was <laughs> it was five seconds yeah. in. But we suggest you go and you listen to it. Of course. Like afterwards or before. And like or without pausing and talking. And yes, whatever. exactly. Yeah. That like we're trying to get copyright. Not strikes yeah, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> Five seconds of songs. Yeah. Sorry, you can continue. Yeah, yeah. Well, but. I'll, like, so I like this song right now because it's just like it's a very simple, simplistic. Yeah. Uh, not many instruments. Acoustic guitar, show, vocals. That's it. Yeah. It's great. Right. Oh, drums coming. Tambourine. Tambourine. Yeah. Right. So like it, it's it's growing, and the chord progression is really unique as well. It's not your four chords. Right. right. And then, some weird stuff in the chorus too. I've been trying to yeah. figure out. Then uh, Rose Rose piano. Uh, by the way, it this is more for for Mr. Bittner. I'm gonna call you Mr. Bittner <laughs> this whole time. Um, so it may be loud for us, and uh-huh. we feel like it's talking over, but yeah. it's it's. I can adjust that. Okay. So don't think that. It, I mean, if it if it is too loud, and we can we can right. I can turn it down here. Yeah. I can turn it down there. I would rather turn it down here. So you said alternative before. That's well, it's, my it I was says like, that alternative. Of course it does. According to, I feel like alternative is just it's a generic term now. Yeah. Because it's a very wide range. But it, to me, it's folky. Yeah, yeah. But like folk rock. Even that is broad. I mean, he's uh, so. Here's another connection to him: the monsters of folk. Okay. Him I've and Jim James. You never heard of them? So no. I probably 2008 okay. or so. It's him and I think another guy from from um, Bright Eyes and um, Jim James from My Morning Jacket. M Ward. From yeah, I know M Ward. Band I can't remember, but also maybe just under his own name. And then like somebody else from like uh, he, another. He, she and him or something. That M-Ward. too, but like I feel like he did something else, but maybe it was under his own name also. Okay, this is where I should have done more research. But <laughs> monsters of, that monsters of folk album I love, and of course he's on there. Connor's on there singing, and oh, so like I've heard him and gotten used to him at some point. But again, that's just the whole like the distinct, unique voice thing. Yeah, it just yeah. Anyway, um, so back to the song. Which I did turn out to us. Rented a house out on the coast Flying away I heard a memory Your voice over the engine So we'll probably end up like listening to the song yeah. instead of talking over Alright, so this is the next point that I wanted to make right here. Now that uh, okay, you that instrument? That, like, mandolin kind of thing? It's not a mandolin. Okay. It's an instrument that I've been trying to find. Like every time I hear it, I'm like, that's so cool. Now, like, Wait. what? Can I make another guess? Yeah, yeah. Is it Hammer Dulcimer? Okay, I want to say yes, uh-huh. but I've seen what it is. Okay. So it could, you could think of it as a Hammer Dulcimer, but think about like the, so what we're talking about is like, it's like a like, yeah. uh, high, sound. Higher it's very pitch, high pitched yeah. because it's very, it's, it's a string instrument. I mean, if you guys are listening to it, I, it <laughs> how can you not be listening to right. it? Um, but it's there. 
in in the chorus and it's a it reminds me of uh you know hitting something with a hammer that has a has a spring on it right and you're mm-hmm. like and that's that's what it is yeah so uh, i believe it's an auto harp but an auto harp that you put this like it's these hammers with keys uh-huh. or or these keys with with hammers that are springs okay so you press down and it bounces up and down oh, okay. until it, like until almost it. like a diving board effect yes okay. exactly and i love that instrument and i mean it's 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 super simple and it's just yeah. like it sounds so cool every time Every every time, um, in this chorus, it's very straightforward. There's no like weirdness to it, mm-hmm. and that's setting up things that are going to happen. I, I will say there, it, I I expected a different chord or different chords at different times. Okay, I expected them to go more of like here's this chord and then we go up a half step to the diminished chord and mm-hmm. then you keep going to the next chord like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then like they don't do that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not predictable. Yeah, and that's also what's cool about it. Because it's like, oh, you're going to go here. Oh, wait, why are you staying on that chord for longer than you right? thought Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, then you're going to change here. Uh-huh. And it's not really changing keys, but it's... A little bit of tonality change, though. Yeah. Yeah. But... We won't get, yeah, we're, we're, to we're, get we'll, too deep into that. Uh, that's up, that's up to you. <laughs> so, that hammered... Auto, I think on it it says hammered. Like, in the credits it says yeah. hammered dulcimer. Which the credits, by the way, are, are Wikipedia. For me. Sure. Um, but it's there. And it's like, that's cool. And then, okay, now this is the second verse. It's a little bit bigger, yeah. right? There's That's a, there's, the one thing. This tune starts at a certain point and just builds, I think, exactly. pretty much to the end. So, like, first verse, very soft. Uh, then the chorus gets bigger. And then there's kind of, like, a halfway point to the verses. But, like, the the first verse didn't have an electric guitar, but it's, it's a here now. And then... It kind of comes down like it, it's got a nice uh, roller coaster ride effect of what's going on musically. Uh, we gotta wait till the chorus. Now. Uh, there's your there's your Omaha reference. <laughs> Perfect timing. So here's here's the second part, the second thing I want to point out. So uh, right there. That yeah. That. Uh-huh. Okay, so um it's, it I be- is? No, 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 no. well I I I I learned the song. Okay. I learned how to play it or most of it. Uh-huh. Um the guitar solo is awesome. Um which is the third thing yeah, I'll point yeah. out. So in that so the normal is like a G and then that second chord is a D. That time it's not a D. You could call it D sharp, uh-huh. you, know, you can call it E flat, uh-huh. whatever you want to call it. But it's 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 there and it's like it just rubs you yeah. the wrong way, and then it, I think it—I believe it goes back to the D. So it's like a G. It's—it kind of feels like a G to a D, um, but then it's a G to a D sharp, and then it comes back down to the D. Okay. Uh, and every I rep- call that E flat, but that's just me. <laughs> Depends on the key, right? I think I think we're in G. Yeah. Just my. This is my. Because you want to call it a pedantic different... thing. Well, because I because to me E flat leads to D, but D sharp doesn't lead to D. I, I totally understand what you said. Different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all all my laughs are clipping. All of my laughs. Thanks. I can see you're fine. <laughs> Don't worry about you. It's okay. all me. Um. So, and then every sub- subsequent uh, chorus that that chord. That E flat, as uh-huh. you like to say, lasts a little bit longer, and it's kind of like oh, it's that's rubbing cool. you yeah. a little bit harder to be like, "This is weird and uh-huh. shouldn't be here." It breaks so, the weirdness. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, because we're talking about we're talking about camera here, the baseline, it, it's really cool. Oh. I gotta stop there. Yeah. Okay, guitar solo, awesome, awesome, awesome part. And I gotta we'll go sneak back. back a little bit, yeah, uh, because I, I want to actually like talk about that. So um, there's this in the bass line. It's he he kind of like does this woo woo like like po- like you hit you hit the note whatever it is, uh-huh. and then he like comes all the way back down and then like slides all the way up kind okay. of. And I think I gave the right inflection of yeah. what what it is but it's it, it if you listen closely you can hear it so okay. now the guitar solo 
when I listened to it, you know, I'm, I was trying to count measures. Remember, like we, so me and Mr. Bittner here yeah. took a class <laughs> where it was just all on uh, Stevie Wonder, which, by the way, new Stevie Wonder song came out. I saw that. I didn't listen to it yet. I listened I to that. it. Sounds I like Stevie Wonder. I heard a song that he is on today that is not that song. Okay. Yeah. The new one. Sound, it's Stevie Wonder. Yeah. It doesn't sound as great production wise because uh-huh. it sounds new. Yeah. It doesn't sound worn like the 70s stuff. Right. So me and and Brandon here, uh, we took a class where it was all about Stevie Wonder and in it. Shout we, out to Doctor Level. Uh, yeah, shout out to <laughs> Doctor Level. It was a great class. Wish I could take it every year forever. Right. Just hang out yeah. and talk about one artist for a, how long was it? Four weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. I just felt like four weeks, I, but like in a good way. <laughs> yeah, because it was intense and like yeah. learning a ton and yeah. yeah. So. Um, where, where we would like jot down like okay here's a measure and then here's a measure and and, and I was doing that to break down the song mm-hmm. I was doing that for other things that I want to do including this podcast but mm-hmm. um, breaking it down into okay there's a measure there's a measure there's a measure and then when you get here you're just like wait a second this isn't four beats in a measure oh, okay so I didn't even I didn't listen that intent okay so um, if if we go uh, Change it. two three Don't stay one Nice. So it's a nice like three measure. Yeah. Three beat measure in there that like during the solo. Which Alright, so like just the solo itself is just so so cool, especially like with the vibrato on there. Mm-hmm. Um and and I was trying to play it and so I have I got a ton of guitars, but the one that I was learning it on was on a Jaguar and it was in standard tuning, which means E to E. Uh, a lot of my guitars are E flat. Okay. To E flat, and we do call it E flat there. Right. Uh, but most <laughs> tunings will be like, oh, it's in D sharp. It's like, no, 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 it's E flat. Yeah. It's a half step down. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that guitar has twenty two frets, uh, which will put you at a D. Okay. And that is the highest note that i can get is the note that that they played there and then like i think all of my other guitars only have 21 frets oh interesting so i i couldn't get to that note on (laughs) any other guitar but that and that's what i was doing and it was just like it's such a cool riff um it's such a cool solo and and i really 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 dig it yeah um those sorry god i was gonna say that that the measures of three that that they throw in there are cool i like so part of what i'm going to talk about in my tune is is i like stuff that has things like that, either specific shifting meter or, yeah. or like mix meter or stuff where it even just feels a little off or a little different mm-hmm, in the thing. Mm-hmm. And I like that too, because, um, it's not a typical three bar it would be like one, two, three, they hammer each beat. Yeah. So it almost feels like you're in just like a pulsing four mm-hmm. and then they just drop that last beat. Yeah. And, and I love stuff like that, that it just kind of tricks you a little bit. Um, uh, uh, what's that song? Nine in the afternoon by Panic at the Disco yeah, yeah. has a thing like that too, where it's like it feels like it's about to be like in four, but I think they only do three or two or something, mm-hmm. something like that, something. where they just sort of like drop a beat almost, and it's totally it's cool. And those are yeah. really I, I dig. Um, yeah. Those are like the main points mm-hmm. that that I wanted to be like. This song is really cool because of those things, and yeah. then it just kind of like repeats. Yeah, uh, it goes to the chorus. Oh well, we should talk about the chorus again. Yeah. So um, G chord. And it's even more intense. And then yeah. the E flat, D, right? And he's he's yelling more. Yeah. There's more. There's two voices. Yep. As you can hear. So he's yelling over top of it. And, it's, and then I think he repeats the chorus again. Find out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So same chorus, but. And, and oh, right, right there on that do E flat, like some people it. go down to the D and yeah. some people stay on the E flat, yeah. and it's just like so it's even more like tension, tension, yeah, which is which is great. And then we're like, okay, we're coming back to all the obviously, obviously. <laughs> and then the the solo right. is the same way as they end it. It's a little bit different. The notes are, are different because I didn't learn this part yet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. which the first time I listened to it, I was like trying to be like one, two, because it feels like a, like it feels like four. Yeah, because it's like one, two, three, four, one. 
Yeah. Like the, the one it's a, it's is a, a, a long beam. It's a, like a, a mistake the students make a lot of times too. <gasps> yeah. Where they would, because what you said was one, two, three, four, one, but it's like, no, no, no three and four need to be even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. All right. So that's like, that is the song. Um, Ka- Cal- Calais, which Cal- is in France. Calais to Dover. To Dover, which is in England. I believe there is a ferry that you can take. Okay. That makes sense. I think he even sort of references that. Oh, yeah. Whatever, yeah. He but, talks, like, it totally makes sense. Yeah. In, in, in fact, like, I Googled it. Calais to Dover uh-huh. and all that comes up is like buy a ferry ticket and take this route and here's the times yeah, and whatever yeah. and then I also found on Spotify when I was searching the song because mm-hmm. I should have just clicked the link you sent me but I searched it <laughs> I there's it another so song called Calais to Dover that there are two versions of and oh, one is by a band called Pelt and one is by I think a, I... a guy named Jack Rose I think and yeah yeah I was so I was looking up tabs to try to figure okay. out how to, how to play Okay, and like there's that one, and and I was like, oh, that must be yeah. a really really famous. The the pelt one is like 19 minutes, and the oh. Jack Rose one is 13 minutes. And I listened to like snippets of each to see if they were the same song, and they are, at least oh, as far okay. as I can tell. But it's like kind of like noise rock, yeah, sort of thing, yeah. yeah. But I thought that was interesting. That makes sense. All right. Um, so now we'll shift into part two. Cool. As we're 30 I, minutes into the podcast, I will say. Uh, you know, one of the things I took and what I sort of mentioned was like, I just never got into bright eyes and like yeah. whatever, but like now I'm intrigued to listen to more, at least of this album mm-hmm. since it's the newest thing and yeah. whatever. Um, uh, the yeah. album is called, Oh, it's like a long down title. in the weeds where the world once was, which I think most of their, their titles are like kind of heady. Yeah. And, and basically like, uh, early 2000 pop punk lyrics or yeah. words or like titles. fall out boy stuff fall out boy yeah. panic of the disco um thurs thursday thursday no no taking back sunday oh taking back sunday yeah, yeah. Ah! they had some 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 like oh. cute without the e exactly. from the team <laughs> exactly. for <instance>. which is <laughs> a dope song but like yeah 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 <laughs> exactly Fun fact that, I mean, you were actually on Warp Tour, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was not, but I went to Warp Tour a couple times. But I, there was like that, that era of time, like 2003, four, five, whatever. Those were great times. Um, when those dudes were on, I, I had read this thing probably in like Alt Press or something that they had made up like kickball teams where they would like yeah. combine bands yeah, yeah. and stuff. And so Thursday and Taking Back Sunday had a kickball team called Taking Back Thursday, which I just thought yeah, was yeah. so simple um, and yet so clever. <laughs> oh, what was the, there? There's a. Uh... I think that there's some some there's two bands that like they toured together and then like every once in a while they would like combine, okay, and and play as like a group. But I think they I think it was like Beartooth and I want to say it was Silverstein. Okay. And oh, would, this sounds familiar. To and me. And they would be called like Silvertooth or yeah 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 or, or Bearstein. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that actually because uh, you've listened to the that lead singer, singer syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's where I'm. Getting and I think it. that's where I heard that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Another podcast you guys should listen to. Lead yeah. Singer Syndrome. Shane told Scott an awesome podcast. I need to get back into it. I haven't listened to it for a while. Uh, they had uh, the lead singer of Cold Chamber. Oh, uh, I don't think I ever listened new to Cold metal. Chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I. Two, yeah. Early 2000, late 90s, early 2000. Yeah. New Metal. Yeah. But it's a good podcast for sure. It is. Yeah. Um, anyways, so now we're on to your song. Yeah. Ufi's Woodshop by Tiande Braxton. I think it's how you say Tiande, I think. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Braxton, if I'm butchering your name. Yeah, I, I could see Tiande. Yeah. All right. How do you want to proceed? Um, okay, let me say where I first heard this song. Okay. Because it was not this actual song. It was a version of it. Oh, so like, like it was a cover? Sort of. So you're familiar with drum core? Yes. For those that are not, um, I always say it's sort of like professional marching band, although yeah. it, it's it's kids, literal kids, up, only up to the age of 21, <laughs> um, at least in the... So the it's college kids. Uh, high school slash college, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you know, you have to be good enough to make, especially these, they're called the, the junior cores and stuff mm-hmm. because they can only go up to 21. And um, they're just like world-class... I mean, world class is the the name of the competition thing that they do, but it's like they are world class musicians mm-hmm. at what they do in this in this you know it's marching band basically yeah. you know um, although it's it's no woodwinds and whatever. But mm-hmm. anyway, the Blue Coats, which is one of the the top cores in 2014, did a show called Tilt, which had all these different uh, versions of things tilting, including you know they 
marching band is done and drum corps is done on a football field, but they set up the border of the football field themselves on like a tilt oh. to it. It was really cool. Like they set up this orange border around the edge that was slightly off of the normal thing okay. and they marched it to that. And then they had all these things where they were like leaning over. They were on like these seesaw type things and they had stuff where like the thing would be talking and then it would do that. Like, like, like things are tilting and moving and shifting the way that they okay. shouldn't. Yeah. This, this song and so totally anyway, makes sense. Yes. And so they had this and they had another tune off of this same, by also Tian De Braxton off of the same album. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, the, the title escapes me. Somebody's like yelling it at home. That's listening to this. Um, Central market. Central market is the album, but there's a, there's a tune off of there that okay, they so the, also use. So the other song, one of the other songs off gotcha. of central market. Yeah. So anyway, but, um, this Uve's Woodshop goes like throughout the whole like 12 minute mm-hmm. show that they do. But that's where I first encountered it. And I was like, what is this? First of all, this is a cool concept of a show. Yeah. But like, what is this cool music and whatever? And then I went and found this and I was like, this is dope. Yeah. So mm-hmm. this is from 2009. Do you want to control this? I can, um, I can just press play. You can just do it. It's fine. Because then everything. Because then I don't have to like reach away. <laughs> but. Already some gratuitous woodblock. I know. And it goes throughout. All right, you can pause for a second. So, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. how far are we into it? Uh, 24 seconds. 24 seconds, and probably about 20 seconds is where it starts to get weird like it, it already <laughs> starts with like it starts with kind of like interesting sounds like yeah. it's like what exactly mm-hmm. is the instrumentation it's like i don't like know. is it electric is it acoustic is it is it both is it whatever um so i did a little bit of digging and so this is um so first of all this is braxton's first uh solo album okay. of his music where it's just him. Mm-hmm. He was in a band called Battles, which yep. you said you're familiar with, which yes. I was not familiar with. Although, in, um, a, little, in a little bit of digging I did today, yeah. off of I, one of their first albums, maybe, from like 2007. Uh, so this guy was only on their first album. Right, because I when and I looked they, up the band on Wikipedia, four. he was like not... <laughs> it yeah, was yeah. like he's very short so as when I, he was in it. I, ha- I, I found them, I want to say maybe 2015. Okay. And the album that they put out was La Di... Or, Lottie Dottie. Okay. I think that's might be. Lottie Dottie, we come to party. Yeah. I, like, I, I, that's the, what I think it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the cover is, is like food that's like morphed into each other. It looks like an art exhibit. Okay. But the, it's very Which like. Which they're like an art rock. They're totally an art rock yeah. band. But like what's weird. Okay. So first the drummer of that uh-huh. band uh, was in Helmet. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. And when he plays in this band, uh-huh. he has a very unique drum set. Okay. So it's really, I think it's just a hi hat, a snare. And we're uh, talking about battles in this case. Yeah, battles. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so hi hat, snare, uh, kick drum. He might have a floor tom. He doesn't have a rack tom, but then he uh-huh. has uh, one other cymbal. Okay. And the cymbal is like, okay, everybody at home, put your hand all the way up if you're <laughs> sitting down. That's as, like, and then imagine a stick that you're holding, your drumstick, and then that's as high as the symbol is. Okay. So it's like, it's so high up. And yeah. he's just like, that's so crazy. if you're looking at me, my hand is fully extended. Yeah. This and imagine, is good for a non-visual medium. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but it's, uh, we, we, we could do it. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for the future, it may be a visual podcast. Sure. Let's get one episode recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All oh, my laughs. Yeah. So annoying. Anyways. Um, yeah. Oh, so anyway, so, um, so with battles, I, I listened very briefly to like Woodblock. some some stuff from that. Yeah, Woodblock for sure. That's on Bo's note card. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a tune. I think it's the first track off of that mirrored album is called Race In. Okay. It's like Race Colon In, and you, like if you then go and listen to that tune, which I suggest people do, mm-hmm. you hear. I mean, it's influence. It's it's both are Tiande Braxton. You know, inf- it's he yeah. he either wrote the songs of battles with the other guy. Mm-hmm. Or he wrote this stuff by himself. I think himself. At, that, at that time, when he was in the band, there were four members. Okay. And now it's just, I think, like, people would leave and sure. never replace right. them. Right. But anyway, so that battle stuff, you can hear direct correlations from Race In to Ufe's Woodshop. Like, it's, I was okay. like, oh, even, like, the vocal stuff that happens, and it's really interesting. But um, where was I going with all of that? Oh, so I had to look up, like, okay, who is performing on this? Mm-hmm. And it's this 
ensemble called the Wordless Music Orchestra. Okay. And they just play all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. And and so he just was using them as his, you know, palette, if you will, yeah, of yeah. like creating a sounds and stuff. So yeah, so it's interesting sounds and things. So you can play some more. What is that sound? Is it a kazoo? It is kazoos. Yes, it is yes. exactly kazoos. I, I have that. I'm like, at like, and this is like at one. I, I wrote a note and like instrumentation kazoos. Yes, it is. It is exactly right kazoos. Is yeah. that a kazoo? I think it's kazoo layered over oh, maybe some kind of synth or something or yeah. whatever. Yeah, because at, at some point, like when when it becomes more melodic, mm-hmm. uh, you can tell that there's and it's fast melody stuff. Yeah, and and it's. This stuff right here. Yeah. I love those ideas. Yes. And I even put that as like a what? Whoosh? Yeah. Kazoos again? Yeah. Kazoos. Can you pause it for a second? Just so we can... Yes. It's, I can't think when it's like playing because I just... <laughs> I want to either talk or listen and then I can't do yeah. both. Um, but yes, it is absolutely kazoos um, and woodblock or... It's funny, again, since I first heard this from a drum corps, I think like gock block, which okay. is just like a plastic version. Yeah, yeah. Like a very hard plastic version of mm-hmm. a woodblock that we would use to like beat time when you're yeah. out on a football field so that way everybody can hear it and, yeah. and you can march and stuff. A- anybody but, in marching bands or even in bands... Uh-huh. Not rock bands, but yeah. school bands, concert bands. Yeah. They know what that thing is. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like there's, I just kind of wrote down like kazoos, uh, guitars, strings, uh, you know, keys, both real and synth. Like there's there's yeah, yeah. what sounds at least and like you, piano you and You can stuff hear and, all that. Yeah, and it's so interesting. And then I, I actually meant to watch, there's like a 12-minute little documentary on him on YouTube oh, cool. that I just didn't get to today yeah. because... I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to like watch it over my lunch cuz mm-hmm. um but then I didn't. But anyway, the first like minute that I watched, one of the things that he's like the very first thing he says is I've always been interested in the marriage between acoustic and electronic. And it's like, yup, I hear that exactly in this in in the like the mixing of sounds. And then the other thing he says is it's it's more about the sounds and the way that the sounds play off of each other. That was like direct quotes from mm-hmm. him and I thought that was interesting, especially on this tune cuz like yeah, you absolutely get that. Yeah, I think it's very cool. Yeah, uh, we'll continue. And this is again where it's like you could make probably multiple cases for like what time it's in at different areas. Yeah. Um, like most of the time, like the when the wood blocks there, you really feel like it, this is the tempo. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. I don't know the the, yeah. the meter, but yeah, like, like the tempo is very, very like the wood block is driving. It. Yeah, when well, it's almost like. It's like some of those like snarky puppy things where it almost feels like maybe it's in a different time, but then you it's like just four. Yeah. And like this, you could make the case that maybe it's just in four or twos the whole time. Okay, so this. Yeah. The, I, I from this point on, I was like, this has a Jupiter feeling. Ooh, yeah. Right. Like big giant steps of, of Jupiter. That, that, yeah. From pulse. from pulse the planets. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I was like. Oh, yeah. and, it, and it's slowly and he keeps shifting up. where the the main pulse yeah. is, and yeah. Then I got this uh, musical vibe. Okay. Like, like seventies, eighties, like Jesus Christ Superstar. Okay, yeah, up, yeah for sure. I, I watched some of Cats, by the way. Oh, um, God. <laughs> just because it's Oof. so messed up. Yeah. But, um, like, up to there, like, that musical Into the Woods type yep. type stuff. Absolutely. Like, this, right, just that little section. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, this feels like a musical. Yeah. These vocals, this thing, right out of that racing tune I was talking about. Yeah, okay. Like, exactly. And, again, is it real? Is it not? Is it, like, well, he or in, is it both? In like, battles. Uh, he was the vocal. Pause it again. Sorry. Just... Yeah, that's really We've got 16 seconds <laughs> my, left on it. My brain just needs to break. <laughs> can't, can't talk over top of yeah. it. Seriously? Well, it's so funny because I'm so ingrained as as a teacher and when we do listening. To focus. To just, yeah, to do focus listening and critical listening. And like, yeah. I even have specific instructions for my kids when you're listening at home. Headphones in, sit in a quiet space. Yeah. You know, like just for three minutes, four minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is, that's your focus for that time and so like now oh, yeah. i'm like breaking that cardinal rule of like don't talk over the music <laughs> I, I totally get that um 
but for entertainment wise sure <laughs> it's like we kind of have to t- like yeah. go listen to this song in oh, its entirety for sure yeah um that that that'll be our our tagline it's like yeah. now go listen to this yep. in a quiet space yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah um so here we'll listen to the last 16 seconds cool tonality shift and like where's it going what's happening you know, listen and back. It's just done. Uh, yeah, Lis- listening th- this third time. Mm-hmm. A- at first, it was very uh, hard. Like I thought there was more like stumbling, like that tilt. Okay. Type yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And and this last listen, it wasn't as dis dis disjointed uh-huh. and and jarring. Yeah. As as it was. That's what, like one of the things I wrote down was like off kilter, but like I've listened to this tune a ton. Yeah. I don't feel off kilter anymore yeah. when I listen because I'm just used to it. Yeah. But yeah, but that's the type of stuff that I I just love stuff like this, and I will try not to just make every week stuff like this because no, no, I have because I do fun. have a playlist essentially of things that are weird and odd like this, and they and yeah. they will come up. But um, yeah, but I this was one I wanted to start with. Like I said, my my kids are listening to it this week um, as we as we talk. Here, as I'll, we I'll, t- I'll this, talk but, to my guitar student about it on Thursday. Uh, but it's not for jazz band; it's for theory. Oh, so. Well, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So that that's our episode. Um, we probably have to say all the things that we need to say. Like, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe and like. Check and, us out on uh, the gram. Eventually, when I create a thing, yeah, there will be an Instagram. Yeah, very short. You should just do it right. Now. Well, we have an email address. We do have an email address. Cool. Um, I didn't even I, know that. I, I I forget what it is though. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is like very professional uh, here. Um, it'll be posted up it'll be in the, it'll be in the show notes cool um leave us a a rating on whatever thing that we're yeah. on that you can probably do us. it right in app i bet because most things you can you can whatever you're um, listening we to will be song. on all stuff i don't know exactly what yet yeah um and we'll be back next week with two more tunes <laughs> yeah because it's two tunes and that's the name we're we're locked into yeah. but i like it because we couldn't come up with anything good we couldn't we put it up on instagram and yeah. yeah, so a former student of mine, she um she's a great singer and good musician and stuff and she came she actually came up with like a couple names, but I was like that I like that one too too. It's like simple and to yeah. the point and like you get what the idea is. Yeah. And we may eventually again, first episode uh that we've been procrastinating on, but um eventually we may have other people join us and some yeah. special guests and stuff and 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 I suggest that the viewers listeners uh also uh leave us suggestions when yeah when, please when, in the email in the description um, <laughs> or on comments or dms or, or wherever on the um tell us what we should listen to what yeah. we should what we should bring up and and we'll if we like it we'll mention it on the podcast yeah. i'm like personally excited about doing this just because like i like finding new things to yes. listen to and so like Me as and well. i love your taste and trust your taste in music <laughs> we have very similar tastes of course too but like there are those other yeah. things that we delve into that the because other does we're, not. We're both and... searching for something. Yeah. And there's no like, we're, I'm searching for this thing. And it's like, yeah. no, 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 I'm just searching for something. Yeah. And totally. I don't care what it is. Yeah. It's the journey, right? Can I ask you yeah. a thing? Because we're done and whatever. We can leave this in or not. But when you do you, when you listen to stuff, mm-hmm. do you get stuck? Not stuck in a bad way, but like, do you for like these two weeks, I'm only listening to this band or the, or this album, or do you, are you always bouncing around? I'm always bouncing around. Okay. Um, I, but the, the thing sorry. is, I, sorry, um, <laughs> we're going to stumble over each other. Yeah. We, we have not reached the, the synergy of, no. of talking <laughs> to each other. Um, what I do, um, I don't listen to music that much. Uh, same. Actually. I'm, I'm creating a lot of music. I'm mm-hmm. watching a lot of YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I do listen to music, it's not like I'm going to, I'm going to put on my favorite record. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm going to go search for something. Okay. So it's always like searching that's, and finding something new. That's how I was for a long, long time. And I still am, but I have noticed maybe it's because of, we're still in a global pandemic and like just latching on to things for comfort. But I've noticed in the last like six months or so, I keep returning to certain albums. Now, that being said, two of those albums or two or not even one of them is not even really an album. It's just like a whole collection of songs by this one artist. But I, I have found both of them in the last six months also. And so I don't Mm -hmm. know if it just is that comfort thing or whatever, but, but then also I'm 
finding new stuff and going out, but then I will keep coming back and then I go out again and then I keep coming back. And yeah, I so mean, I you're always going to find. Yeah. Your, but it's not the normal comfort home. stuff I would go to. It's not, it's not the stuff from my teens or even my twenties okay. that I was, that I would normally go back to. It's still newer stuff, mm-hmm. but I, I just, I don't know. I was just curious about that. So, gotcha. and I, I'm not saying the names because I think I will use them in like the next okay. two episodes. Gotcha. So uh, that's why if I'm being cagey, that's why <laughs> right. it's, it's perfectly understandable. Yeah. So we will see you next week guys. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. To two Tuning tunes. into two tunes. <laughs> oh, snap. There's our tagline. <laughs>